Andrew Rose used to be the ex COO of a Caliber Group, and you know, built Caliber Group up to get 3,000 employees and you know, engineers. And then let's welcome Andrew Rose. You just asked me to talk a little bit about the, the strategy for ACE, where we are now, where we're going, and why we're going there. Um, and as you mentioned, one of the reasons I've, I like working with ACE and have been here now for about six months is getting to know the team through my time at Logicams. Right people, right place, and good technical expertise in, in what we do here at ACE. The strategy Jordan's put forward is quite smart. It's about engineering smart utilities. And why utilities? Well, utilities are going to be influenced by the mega trends that we're all going to see over the next 10 years. And that is water, that is power, and that is transportation. So water, rare and precious commodity, it's got to be replenished, reused and recycled. It's all that circular economy. It's going to impact what happens in agribusiness here in the West. It's going to impact the mining industry, because as we start to get battery minerals out the ground, they've all got to be floated out and other forms of circuits that need high amounts of water. And that's all coming from below water table, lots of water movement. Um, salinity is an issue, we can't keep pumping stuff out of the Nangara Mound. You guys know all about that much more than I do. Um, but it's, and it's also fundamental to what's happening in hydrogen as well, particularly with blue hydrogen, green hydrogen. Then we move to energy, or well, what's happening with energy. We can't burn coal anymore, we can't burn gas. We need renewables on the grid. Um, and for that to work, Centralised nodes of power generation in Collie going out that way is now going to be energy going in every direction, in every way, shape or form. That's all got to be controlled, flowed, moderated, and the whole way the network's going to change has to change as well. Then you go to transportation. Electric vehicles are coming in, hydrogen vehicles are coming in, automation is coming in, self-driving vehicles. You know, there's going to be a point in time with smart freeways, not, not the dumb freeway that we have at Quanara at the moment, but real smart freeways, where you'll lose control of your car when you hit the Mitchell Freeway. That will take control. That's all going to need automation, flow regulation, and um, a high level of sophistication of uh, an intelligence around that. So I like the team here at ACE. They've got the right approach. They're very bespoke in what they're doing. They're looking at, we're looking at utilities. We're looking at being smart and forming really strong relationships with people in the industry like the Water Corp. Yes, we've got ageing infrastructure. It's all starting with obsolescence and replacement, but there's a whole bunch of, of smarts that we want to apply to it. In terms of growth, um, to grow a business, I had a bit of experience with that. You want to keep your overheads down, your costs down, and your intelligence high. All right, we want to spend more money on engineers, technical people, research and development. And we talk about why we're we going from where we are now at 40 people to 60 people. 60 people in an organisation is tight, okay? You can keep the knowledge share high, communication can happen because we're all on the one floor and we can, we can support each other with what we do. You start getting really, really big and then you've got to silo yourself off, splinter yourself off and your networks and your connections to, to information sharing go down. So the key is to, to fill the office, to get it full of... Um, lots of smart people, not high-priced overheads like me, and then maintain our relationships with um, people like the Water Corp as we go forward. But yeah, really happy to be here, and I think this is a great little environment, and I love the world's smallest ping-pong table. <laughs> <laughs>